that. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch. Roger Rowe. And we got another technical toolbox for you today. This one's a little bit more advanced. We're going to talk about counterpunching. And we're going to do two types of counterpunching. Counterpunching off of a block or a slip or a duck. And then punching with your opponent. That one is very advanced. Um, after a block, slip, or duck, pretty common. You want to add that into your repertoire immediately. Now, as far as punching with your opponent, that takes some comfort in the ring, uh, relaxation, and, and a little bit of seasoning. You want to be used to being hit, um, knowing that you are opening yourself up as well as your opponent. You got to be comfortable in there to start doing that. But we are going to give you a few pointers on that anyway. So we're going to back up because we like to show you the full body experience of the sweet science. So we're going to back up. Rob's going to do the counter punching. I'm going to be the punching dummy today. And let's show you what we got. All right. Now, Rob's going to get in the stance. As you can see, everything's nice and tight. If you watched our uh, basic defense video, we already talked about this. Elbows in nice and tight. Hands close to the face, protecting yourself. And the first punch we're going to talk about is countering the jab. Now, there are many ways you can counter the jab. We're going to talk about the catch and shoot, which you can do with either your jab or your right hand. We're going to talk the slip and counter which is uh, your power punch, either a right hand or a left hook, and then we're gonna roll under the jab as well. So first thing, we're gonna do the catch and shoot. Now, the two ways that we talked about blocking the jab in our defense video, which was catching it and turning into a block. So the first one, turning into it and blocking it, will look like this. Rob simply turns his body slightly and Make sure that glove is high enough to catch it. Now this time, Rob is going to block it and return him with a jab of his own. See, his body's turned into it, so that jab's going to be a little bit harder than one that you normally throw. I'm going to show you that again. Turns his body, returns with the jab. And a good jab, especially on that, is really good for taking an aggressive fighter off of their uh, game plan. Uh, if you time it right, you can actually see a little bit of it in the Kell Brook versus Porter fight as he used a nice stiff jab to kind of discourage Porter a little bit from coming in or to kind of rethink his stance. Right. Now this one, the catch and shoot, um, is a, a little bit quicker because you can work a little bit more off of it and you never take your eye off the opponent. So what Rob is going to do is he's going to catch the punch and return a jab. Jab. Oh. That's, that's a catch in right hand, which is also very effective. But we're going to do the catch and jab. So he catches it and he jabs. This one, you kind of want to do at the same time. And um, like we said, it's punching with your opponent. You got to be very comfortable when you do this because they might still jab you. So you want to catch it and shoot at the same time. There you go. As soon as he catches it, he's returning fire. Or you can do it at the same time, just like that. Just make sure you get there first. You see that? I'm trying to jab. He jabs with me. Because he's longer, his gets there first. Now, to get under the jab, well, first we're going to talk about slipping it and returning power punches. So the most frequent one you see is slipping the jab to the right and returning with the right hand. Now, Rob's gonna shift his body in order to deliver the right hand as I throw my jab. Watch his entire body as he does this. You see how he steps out and then uses that step to drive that right hand through the opponent. Bang, just like that. As you can see, because I'm getting a good base when I step out, I can turn my hips. It's just one movement. Bam. And you really don't have to waste that much energy doing it. Right. Like we said, punching is a full body exercise. So you, he's starting in his feet, driving up through his hips, 
and finishing off with the snap in the shoulder and balling that fist up nice and tight. One more time on the jab. Slip, bang. Just like that. Now to slip inside, you can throw either a left hook if someone likes to do that bow and arrow jab or like that, or they drop their hands when they're getting ready to throw that jab. You can slip and throw either a left hook or a left, left uppercut. If they like to drop that right hand, you're gonna do a left hook. So he's gonna slip and come right back with that left hook. So we're gonna go a little bit faster. This time, he's not really stepping out as far as he did with the right hand. He's stepping more forward into me so he can catch me coming in. So if I step in with my jab, you see I'm already right there for the left hook. I'm not gonna put the mid up this time. I'm gonna stay right there and show you how it would land on me in a fight. If I'm jabbing, bam, right there. Very, very effective for somebody who likes to drop their hands. Now, if someone has their hand up nice and tight, and they jab, you can fit an uppercut in there, which is gonna look like this. It's very simple, I'm gonna catch it with this one. You jab, bam. You just slip right under it and slip that uppercut right in there. Uh, Juan Manuel Marquez is very famous for doing this. You slip, bam, throw it up there. You can even use that against a southpaw, you would just have to throw it under their arm, so it have to be a very fast punch. Next up is slipping the right hand. So we talked about blocking it in the last video, which would look like this, block. 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 Just like that. And the same way with the jab, you're gonna return fire. Because he turned his body, he kinda coiled that spring to release that right hand, and it's gonna be very powerful. One more time, just like that. Now, you can also slip and return, or slip and return the left hook. So if he slips it, he's gonna dip down, dip down that way, okay. He's gonna dip down, and that angle is right there for that right hand as he comes back. Now, when you go to the outside, you more so throw the left hook. So if I, he slips to the outside, the left hook comes right in. You can throw it to the head or the body, as you saw. He hit me with two punches, I only saw one. That's how you get hurt, it's the ones you don't see. So, watch him step very quickly towards me so he can get the distance he needs for his hook. If I throw my right, bam, he's right there. And you can also slip to the inside and throw an uppercut. If he slips to the inside, Bam, right uppercut right there. You see uh, Floyd Mayweather and James Tony do that a lot off the shoulder roll in another video that we covered um, long ago. But if he was to roll with it, you're gonna put your shoulder up, high, turn around, and then return with the uppercut. That is a very advanced technique right there because you might get hit with a punch if you don't do it correctly which we covered in our Philly Shell video. You can find that on our page. Anything else? Um, just look at some of the best fighters uh, do this, like I said, off the Philly Shell, or Mayweather, however you want to call it, um, that shoulder roll, watch my, Juan Manuel Marquez, watch uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux. Um, they do that very well, especially with a lot of counter punching. Oh yeah. Those guys are masters at it, and probably the best contemporary people you'll see uh, using those styles. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you can hit us up in the comments section. You can hit us up on Facebook, Capital Combat, Google Plus, same name. You can also hit us up in our email, capitalcombat at gmail.com. Um, share this video with your friends. Make sure you like it, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire. My demons are in a rage. Keep thinking that it's a game. I kick rhyme, hurricane. I told them I don't play. I'm liquid. Black street fighter. Street fighter. Street fighter.